Welcome back, and today we're off on a car camping road trip to Aruri or Snowdonia with the hope of bagging some epic mountain photos. So fingers crossed for some amazing conditions this evening and tomorrow morning. Whenever we dedicate some time to a photography trip, there's always a little bit more, I guess, what's the word? Pressure, if you like, to capture images. You know, we've invested our time and our money into the trip you can get carried away can't you you know you see all these amazing images that you want to take but the reality is if you cast your net too wide it's very likely that you'll come back with very little <laughs> i know this from past experiences so what i tend to do is just pick a couple of different locations so i've got one location for sunset and one for sunrise and hopefully we'll be able to make the best out of those areas not too much further now only uh, about another 10 miles. So, see you when we get there. Straight into a shot within the first 10 minutes of arriving, which is really nice. This is a location I've been to about five or six years ago and scouted it out. It's quite nice, got some nice reflection shots in the water. But I think, you know, it's one of those locations I've always wanted to return to. So obviously here we are. We've got some very blustery, changeable conditions, which is quite nice. So anything could happen over the next couple of hours. The sun's behind the mountains. In the background there we're getting some really nice light on the snowden range which is beautiful yeah always nice to get a shot straight away isn't it when you arrive i don't think it's a world beater by any stretch of the imagination but it doesn't matter just love it here absolutely love it So this truly is a wonderful location and we've got a dusting of snow on the mountain tops as well which are now becoming visible. Still got cloud streaming across the top of them which is nice. The waters in this little corner here are somewhat calm, just getting a little bit of ripple on the, on the top of the water there. At the minute we don't have any light in the foreground but I don't think that's too much of a problem because the water is quite light in itself. So I'm quite happy with that. But what we do have though is this very harsh shadow running straight through the image which isn't particularly pleasing. So what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for when the cloud comes over you just get that minute or second or two of diffusion and that just settles the shadows down a little bit otherwise it's very very distracting. So yeah I'm just waiting for that right moment but also I'm trying to tie that in with not having too many ripples on the water in the foreground and also having some nice cloud detail in the right place of the frame as well. So it's one of those compositions that you've kind of got to sit on and just wait for the right moment. Now I could run around and take shots of <laughs> multiple different locations here from this same area but I think I'll probably come away with three or four average shots whereas if I concentrate on this one I may come away with one good shot hopefully. <laughs> so yeah that's my thought process that's what I'm going for. Now I've stepped back from the shoreline a bit I'm at about 30 mil ish and the reason I've done that is because if I'm right by the shoreline down there, shooting wide, it makes the mountains in the background diminish in size. So using a, a longer focal length, 35 or 30 mil, it just brings that you know, background closer to us. It compresses the distance a little bit. And I only really want to catch the very front edge of the shoreline anyway, just to sort of anchor the front of the frames. So yeah, I think that works quite well. And actually, it's looking pretty good right now. So F10, 80th of a second, two second timer. I'm not gonna hesitate, I'm gonna take the shot and I think it's probably a keeper. Lovely.
please allow me to mention my landscape photography ebook all about how I compose my photos. The PDF book has over 120 pages and 200 photos that show my thought process from finding a composition to finally pressing the shutter button. I'm sure you'll find it a great read and it is the best way to help support my channel. If you do fancy checking it out, there is a link down there in the video description. So it's been a wonderful couple of hours down here this evening. Really, really enjoyed it. Some really nice wintry conditions by this beautiful lake. It's been calm at times, other times quite blustery and wintry. My nose is running because I'm so cold, but I've had the drone up over on the other side of the valley on the hillside behind me there. And I think I might've captured a shot. So I'll put that up for you as well. Difficult to tell because of the fact that it was a bracketed shot. It did look like quite a nice composition with the road leading down the valley and the light pouring through. So hopefully that'll be a nice one. But it's now time to head back to the car, get some dinner on, get the gear charged up for the morning. So we've got a really nice little location to shoot in the morning. And the forecast is looking pretty good at the minute. So yeah, let's get back and get some warm food inside us. So we've got the chili con carne on the boil now and I'm sure it's going to be a fine dining experience, not followed by a super cold night in the front seat of my car. However, it's been a fantastic evening of photography and I'm hoping that tomorrow morning will be exceptional because the forecast is looking really nice. So I'm going to tuck into my chili con carne, get my head down and I'll see you for hopefully a spectacular sunrise. Right, the moment of truth. Let's hope it tastes better than it smells. Actually, that's not too shabby. Yeah, not bad at all. Mm. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Oh, it's cold, it's cold. Well, good morning. And it looks like it's going to be a lovely morning too. Beautiful. Now this location is a very popular landmark in the area for good reason too. It is absolutely spectacular. It's the first time I've shot it as well. So I'm super excited for what the morning will bring. It looks like a fairly easy shot to frame up really. Looking straight down the valley there. This wonderful castle on the right hand side. Absolutely fantastic. So last night's car camping went pretty smoothly. It got down to about one degree, so it was pretty chilly, but I had sleeping bags and extra blankets and all that stuff, so that was absolutely fine. Didn't get a huge amount of sleep, but I wasn't expecting to either. It's really about coming down here and maximizing the amount of time that I've got out in the landscape. And that is the most important thing when you're on these little short trips. So roughing it a bit is absolutely fine. And yeah, what a... Uh, what a stunning evening it was last night, absolutely brilliant and uh, complete contrast this morning, got real moody, dramatic conditions as the clouds are sweeping over the top of the mountain. We are bang on sunrise right now and as you can probably tell, it's quite dark isn't it? That camera's at ISO 1600 right now. My main camera that I'm shooting this scene is at 2 seconds f9 so you can tell how dark it is and that is because we've got a very thick layer of low lying cloud which is pretty cool very dramatic but above that there's a very thick high level cloud as well which is snuffling a lot of the light out so it's touch and go right now whether we're going to get any color this morning but if we don't get color what we do have is a ton of drama and mood in the scene as well as these clouds sweep through now this scene here is it's a fairly easy scene to compose but i've had to set the tripod up really really high and that is because if it's low down you lose the sort of view down into the valley and the castle really want to have that protruding above the mountains there as well 
because I think it makes a more dramatic shot. So it's about balancing those two together. And also, the actual castle sits between two peaks as well, where I've got the uh, tripod positioned right now, which I think is probably the sweet, what, sweet spot for this composition. And it's just a case of shooting it now as those clouds change and add different dimensions to the sky. So yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. Hopefully we'll get a break in the cloud and we'll get some amazing light, but it's not looking likely at the minute. So I like this photo's framing, but the lack of light and atmosphere made this image feel flat and a bit boring. It really needed a pop of sunlight between the distant mountains to bring the scene to life. But as ever, I'm not one to feel too disheartened because spending an hour soaking in the ambience of this historical building and the surroundings was just an incredible way to start the day. The castle is called Dolbarden Castle, which occupies this lofty spot overlooking the waters of Hlimpardan, which sits at the base of the Lamberis Pass. Thought to have been built in the 12th or 13th century, the castle would have been a vital defence for the ancient kingdom of Gwynedd. What a stunning location it is. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this little mini photography trip. If you did, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you enjoyed it, I'll make more content like this. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out this one that's up here. And you might like to check out my landscape photography ebook all about composition. The link's up there and also down in the description. Anyway, guys, take care and I hope to see you all again next week.